Kate Walsh has appeared in more than 70 movies and TV series, but she's best known as one of America's favorite TV doctors, starring as Addison Montgomery on the hit series Grey's Anatomy and later on her own spinoff, Private Practice. Now Kate Walsh is opening up for the first time about a medical scare of her own, a diagnosis of a benign brain tumor back in 2015. She had the tumor removed and now... She's sharing her story for the first time on television, and she's with us this morning. Kate, thank you so much for being here this Thanks morning. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Welcome thank to our you. living room. Yeah, yes. I love it. Today. I love it. I like, like the color palette. There you go. All I was just it. glad it's not a white couch. And I love how <laughs> you put you on this couch all by story. yourself. Camouflage. Yeah. This, is, this is the guest couch. <laughs> let's talk about, uh, let's start at the beginning. How did you know, or when did you first know, that something was wrong? Uh, it was in January of, of 2015. I'd, I was exhausted, but I had just wrapped a show, Bad Judge, and I was starring it in executive producing, so it wasn't unheard of to be totally mm -hmm. exhausted. So I thought, oh, I just really burned myself out. I was working out really intensely, so I'll just take it easy. And then uh, when I was working out, my Pilates instructor's like, oh, your right side is dipping. And I'm like, that doesn't feel like it's off. And then I was driving, and I would start sort of swerving into the right lane. Oh, I was exhausted. I could drink several cups of coffee, just not have any energy. And um, then it was sort of beyond aphasia. I couldn't find my words, wasn't finishing sentences and thoughts. And it sort of, it was subtle and then it got pretty, pretty apparent pretty quick. Mm -hmm. So I really wanted to go and just have a checkup. I went to a neurologist and, uh, and pushed for an MRI mm -hmm. and thank God I did. And you know, it was Why diagnosed. Push. Well, it's just it, the MRIs. I mean, it's not something that they do all the time. And mm -hmm. I think, you know, and I'm not a person that was, I don't know, but you kind of, I had to advocate a little yes. bit mm -hmm. for it. They don't hand them out all the time, you know, okay. I think, because yeah. it's magnetic radiation. But it's, but it was, uh, it, yeah, I found out immediately that I had. Wow a very sizable tumor, mm. which they hoped would be benign, but we didn't find out until we were in surgery and had it all removed that it was, was in fact the benign. Of it? it was big. It was like a small lemon. It was oh, wow. all over That's five incredible. centimeters. Yeah. So, yeah. In my front left lobe. So wow. I was very lucky that it was benign and they got it all out and uh, yeah. When you hear something like that, when the doctor told you the diagnosis, what went through your mind? I left my body. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the words brain tumor were just never in my, it just wasn't even in my consciousness. I just wanted to make sure everything was okay. And uh, I was, I, I guess in some way I was relieved that it wasn't just, oh, I was just exhausted and sort of, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. So I was relieved. And then... Um, it was everything happened so quickly because three days later I was in surgery wow. and wow. yeah they put me on three days later oh yeah gosh. yeah yeah how did the, how did this experience change you it was in, I mean it, it changes me I think in all the cliche ways you know before I went in I had no idea what was going to happen you know I had my my mom gave me her rosary beads and I had a, my friends mm. who gave me a stuffed animal it's like wow. okay you know <laughs> if this is it I've had a great run um, but I all of the things I'm like if I come out of this all right I. I want to spend more time with my family and friends. Oh. I want to work on projects that I just love mm -hmm. with people that I love. I want to mm -hmm. travel, be of service, you know, do mm -hmm. just all the kind of things that you hear, but mm -hmm. it's, yeah, for real. So. And why did you want to bring attention to this now? I knew I wanted to talk about it at some point. I really wanted to focus on the recovery back in 2015, and I did, and it was pretty swift and amazing. Mm -hmm. But I knew when I wanted to talk about it that I wanted it to be of service in a way. So it was a great opportunity to partner with Cigna. Mm -hmm. It was a perfect opportunity mm -hmm. um, to really emphasize the importance of advocating for your own health, particularly women. This is a tumor that yes. is twice as common in women as men. Mm -hmm. um, and Cigna, is, it's such a great campaign, um, getting people to get their annual checkups, mm -hmm. people in our culture, I think, sometimes are afraid of medicine they get or they wait until they're really mm -hmm. sick but the idea of preventive medicine as opposed to being reactive mm -hmm. just the way we go to the gym you know you, you know you're a paid spokesperson for Cigna and, and part of that campaign that I love it the TV doc yeah, it's no, with, with Neil Patrick Harris Patrick Dempsey <laughs> mm -hmm. Donald Faison so what, 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 tell us about this we had such a blast I mean it was so fun for me to be reunited with Patrick <laughs> and I'm, Donald I know and Neil I know socially so <laughs> we just had a blast it was like going and, and it was like a word Wormhole, all of us in our white coats again. We're like, wait, are we back? Yeah, the poses. It's a great yeah. commercial. I love the campaign. I love the humor. Yes. I love 
that it's self-effacing, but I love also the message, and they're trying to get 100,000 people a year wow. to get their annual checkups, yeah. which most people don't know it's covered by insurance. Mm -hmm. Just got to go. And, and it's important you. for women, too, I think, exactly. in particular, right. who take yeah. care of everybody else. That's take care of themselves. Women who are watching right now. Yeah. 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 You Thank could be you, saving Kate. lives. Exactly. exactly. All right. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.